Hey Survivor fans, please like, share, and subscribe. Check out my Survivor Puzzle app. The link is in the video's description. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. I'm Declan, and yeah, I am interested in applying for a virtual survivor. Here's why I'd be a great fit. I'm very well-rounded. I'm a, pretty much a triple threat. I'm great, and I could be great in challenges because I'm very physical. I'm, I'm very smart, so I'll be great st strategic-wise. I'm also very sociable. I'm great making friends, great making alliances. I'd be a good leader, too. I'd also, I think I'm a character. I think I'd be a fun guy to have on the season just to add some extra fun commentary. I've been watching the show for a while, and I'd really appreciate it if you cast me. Hey, Ryan. I'm playing as a host and a contestant on your Virtual Survivor series. So, I know I'm a survivor for a long time. Started around Pearl Island when Joel won. I followed, like, all the seasons. I know how the game's played. I'm really confident in my hosting abilities, as I have my own YouTube channel with 18,000 subscribers right now. And I'm willing to do whatever it takes to win the game. So, I mean, it doesn't matter if you have a prize or not. Ah, what a beautiful morning in Canada. As you can see, I am the survivor. I mean, look at these going. They are packed full of knowledge. My purple pan on my head is full of everything that needs to be a true survivor. Like, look at my room. I have four survivor shirts, a bunch of movies. And I know for a fact that I will be the... I like to say thank you for looking at this and reading my application. But if you cast cast me on your show, you will not be disappointed because I could whip these people so bad I could do it in my sleep. Hi Survivor Geek, coming to you live from my room in quarantine. And I think I would win this survivor competition that you're making with my charm, my smarts, and well, I'm not really sure what the competitions will be, but I'm sure I'll win them. So pick me, and you'll have your winner. Thank you. Hi, Survivor Geek. This is this is an updated video because I just found out what the competitions will be like. I know all there is to know about Survivor. I've seen every season at least two, maybe three times, and I've seen all the highlights all over YouTube, including your videos. And uh, I really look forward to participating in this if you pick me. Thank you again. Hi, my name is Cody Bennett. Uh, I was born and raised in Omaha, Nebraska. I am applying for the first season of Virtual Survivor. And I'm fresh out of high school. And I have a background of anchoring and producing sports and entertainment stories and broadcast for my national winning high school newspaper. Uh, I think I'd be a great fit through my personality either, either as the host of, the, of Survivor or a contestant on the show. I love to lead people and be the ringleader for games. Even uh, I even coordinate a, a neighborhood-wide jailbreak league for my neighborhood every weekend uh, before COVID broke out. So thank you. This is Eddie for Virtual Survivor. I believe I should be in Virtual Survivor because I am confident, I am strategic, and I'm trustworthy to a fault. If you're coming after me, you better watch out because I will remove your ass from this game like that. I will pull two people on my back to the end of this game and win it with grace. I will win when I need to, I will find idols, and I'll do anything to win. And that's why I should be in Virtual Survivor. Hi hey everyone, my name is Alicio, and here's a few reasons why you should cast me. This is very hard to do this in 30 seconds, but here we go. I'm competitive, I will take out whoever I need to take out. I'm strategic, I'll think more of logically instead of emotionally. And I'm very sociable, so I can talk to whoever I want, whenever I want, when I need to. And make sure that they benefit me and make me go farther in the game. I want a deserving winner, so if you cast me, I'll make sure that I'm going to win, or someone who deserves it wins. Sorry, a car just ran past me, but yeah, that's all I gotta really say is that if you want someone who wants to play the game instead of just floating, pick me. Did I say that right? I just get that. Like, oh my god. Oh shoot, I'm in all backside view and them too. Oops. I would be a great competitor. I would I wouldn't be a wasted spot. And also I feel like I would make sure that my moves are made and I wouldn't, you know.
Hi, my name's Eve, I'm 15, I'm from England. I would first of all like to say thank you for hosting this amazing competition and I do have permission to participate. As I'm from England, I don't really get very many opportunities to compete in something as big as this or Survivor related. I rarely find someone to talk about Survivor with and that's a shame because I really like the game and I know quite a few social manipulation strategies. I hope I can put them into good use if you pick me and I hope you consider me. Hey Survivor Geek, what's up? My name is Marilyn L. Curdy. I'm 18 years old and I'm from Manassas, Virginia. I'm applying to be a contestant on your upcoming season of Survivor. So I'm a big fan of your channel. I love all the challenges you post. You have great content, but I'm an even bigger fan of the actual show. And I, it's my dreams to go on one day. Like there's nothing more passionate I am than Survivor. I'm a huge, huge fan. And I plan on using my social skills to my advantage to help me get farther in the game, but then use those social skills to backstab some of my allies. So that's my strategy for this game. I feel I'm a very dynamic person. I'm a very friendly and positive person. I would love to be casted for this season and be a player. I would honestly be honored and I hope you take me under serious consideration. Thank you. Hi, my name is Michael. Um, I feel like I'd make a good role for this season because um, I feel like I can bring that young kind of fiery energy to the game. So yeah, please accept me. Hey Survivor Geek, I hope you pick me for Virtual Survivor because I'm a big Survivor fan and I'm really looking forward to it. I think I can I think I'm a good castaway because I know virtual school well because I've been I've been doing it for a while for the whole tenth grade. So I know the classes and I can get on easy. And I'm talkative and I know the game really well. So I'm gonna spark a lot of conversations and I hope you pick me. <laughs> uh hello, my name is Don. Uh I would like to join your virtual survivor competition. I hope that you will choose me. This is also my bedroom. Uh if I'm picked, this is uh, where 90% of the time it'll be. Uh, lighting is kind of bad, uh, but it's also late in the day, so I have a very flexible schedule. I'm also very shy, which is why this video was a bit hard to make. Um, please pick me. I'm a person on the internet, so... Uh, and even though I look like a boy, I'm still a girl. Hi, my name's Kyle. I'm 17 years old. I have my parents' permission. Don't worry about it. And I believe you should cast me because... I have a very unique perspective on the game. I'm able to take steps back, look at everything from an objective point of view, along with having a very constant, sarcastic wit to myself. I am also very passionate about the game, love to blindside, and would very much appreciate the opportunity. Thanks. You may be asking yourself, why I sent in a second audition tape. <sighs> you didn't say I couldn't. And that's why you should allow me to be on the show. I bring a pure, zany energy that is unbridled, along with a great love for the game and a terrible wit that will get me in so much trouble. Hi, my name is Zach. I'm a 20-year-old college student from the great state of Colorado, and I think I would be a great fit on your season of Virtual Survivor. I make great social connections. I've been watching the show since I was eight years old and I know every trick in the book. I think that I would crush any trivia or puzzle that you throw my way. So take a chance on me and sign me up. Howdy folks, my name's Gareth. I'm 39, I'm from exotic Ireland. Three reasons why I want to be on Virtual Survivor. One, I'm very competitive. I do competitions at late night if you need be and I'm very reliable. Number two, I'm a big fan of Survivor. I haven't missed a season since the very start. I have maybe 15 buffs. Number three, I love the Survivor Geek page and I'd love to help him do his game and support and hopefully win. I uh, hope to hear back from you. Thank you very much. Bye. Yo, what's up Survivor fans? My name's Marco Foster. I'm 18 years old and as you can tell, I'm a resident of the British Isles, which means I might be a few hours behind you guys, but yo, I'll be thinking a few moves ahead though. That's the analogy I'm going for. As you can tell, as a British person, it's kind of hard to get like my hands on a, an, an actual legal copy of Survivor. It's, I get it from a, a few less than legal sources. But ever since, okay, this is gonna sound embarrassing, but ever since Island of the Idols, which I know wasn't long ago, it's ever since Island of the Idols, I've been a massive fan of Survivor. 
and like ever since then I've watched every season of Survivor. Like I think Survivor China was my favourite. I really I actually enjoyed Nicaragua, but I know that's not like a, a massive fan favourite one, but I enjoyed it. I like Fabio, but like Dog, I'm coming to you right now. Because I wanna be I wanna be on Survivor. I wanna try on. I wanna try and get on. I wanna show some moves. Um so like I know to get on, I gotta tell you a story. I gotta show a story. So <laughs> I'll tell you the story of this uh this thing here. This is actually a dog bite. Um a bit embarrassing. My dog, my dog who's a spring spaniel, she was lying on the bed, lying on the sofa actually, and I I went to hug her. She started growling and then the idiot that I was, I went to like kiss her on the face and then she just bit my face. So I had to go to the hospital in the middle of a pandemic to get stitches done. All the doctors were like wearing masks and stuff. And then one doctor just goes, oh, sorry, have you got any COVID-19 uh, symptoms, Marco? It's like, no, it's like, oh, because I have, I've had that like a few, a few months ago. And I just look at her. She's been sticking her fingers in my face trying to do all this. And I'm just like, thinking, oh God, I'm going to get it now. Anyway, there you go. You know a little bit about me. I guess that was one of the pointers I was meant to do. But I want to maybe tell you about how I would win this game. I think socially, I think because strategically, I think that's my strength. Okay, I'll say strategically first because I'm a bit of a thinker. I like, I'd like to come on and make some hashtag, hashtag big moves, as you know. Um, but I think like the whole strategy is like you want to get one person who you can trust almost like completely. And then, like, with that person, you got to... It's all about the multiple level of thoughts. You've got to think about what you have and what they have and what both of you know and make the best move in accordance with that. So that's what I'll be trying to do. If I pull it off, it's a different story. But, you know, if I pull it off, it will be beautiful. And it's a good, like, practice if it ever, if Survivor ever does come to my country. I'll be on and I'll know all the moves that win and all the moves that don't. Uh, but... Socially, it's a different story. I think socially, I'm, I think I'm really good socially. But um, I was just looking to see if anyone's creeping up on me as I was filming. Socially, it's uh, I've been diagnosed with ADHD and Asperger's. So I'm on the spectrum. So social skills that come to other people naturally, I've had to learn growing up. But I think that might actually give me an edge because since I've had to learn this stuff, I would know it. Like I've learned all the intricacies of social skills. So whenever anyone tries to like pull me off for one, I try and manipulate me. I'm I'm not having any of that. I'll know it because I've I've been manipulated. <laughs> I mean that sounds bad again, but I mean with the dog bite and being manipulated, that it's this sort of stupidity that I'm gonna bring onto the show. But socially, like I've got it. Like I've done a lot of um, after school activities, as dead at that might as that might sound, in order to like improve myself. I've done beatboxing, which that was like with people 10 years older than me and I had to like apply, like try and become friends with these people, which was a massive challenge, but I've learned how to talk to people of all colors and creeds, as they say in the USA. Um, but anyway, like I'm just a cheeky little chaffy. I'll be here to win and I'd love it if you sign me up for your little gig. And who knows, maybe I'll be your sole survivor. Thank you very much. The name's Marco Foster.